Hi, I'm Oliver. Nice to see you. So let's unbox one weird actuator from uh, MT model. This one, it is uh, 946 and uh, with uh, grab, we will see what is inside. So now this one, three section arm and the wheel actuator is already, we can plane it. The oil tank it is on here, this cover take out, I can fill up oil on there. The battery opens this, two screw under there, you can take out the cover battery already put inside. Let me show you, now power it on, open the cover, power on, so already ready power on, so now it is already connected. Yeah, connect it, we will start. Uh, so every time you see the light is already on, every time the light is not controllable, so after power on, we are directly power on the lights. Also, okay, so now we will start. Engine sound. On. Off, we will start again. Okay, let's start operating this one. First, for the steering, it is at the rear side. Let's check that. Controlled by servo steering. Okay, go forward. Let's go. Go backward. Okay, again, go forward. Let's see the speed, backward, that's full speed, go forward, okay let's go back, for turning the upper part, spinning, so you can move fast or slowly by radio control. And start the pump, big arm going up, forward, front arm. So this is at a low load for the pump. Can increase another level, higher level. Okay, go up. That's the bucket. And now with the three section middle arm. Yeah, that's the top is position. Do the digging. Unloading. Try again and close the position. That's the moving of this one. Let's see the power for lifting up the weight. Directly go down. Yeah, so the power it is quite enough. Let's see the big arm and the middle arm. Let's move to the downside position. So if you like this, not easy to make the digging because it's only digging like this. So for closer position, It's already for big arm, it is already the top position. Okay, middle arm, we first move a little bit up, then we will see this do the blade. So, going down, yeah, already 
the weight lift up a little. That's the, already the dead position. Lift up. So let's see also this standing support. Start the pump. Standing leg. Go down. Lift up. Move up. Go down. Okay, forward I will also lift up. Okay, so we can try to operate in digging like this. All the angle, digging as you like. Reaching far away, do the digging. So we have spare parts for the grab and uh, this small bucket and the ripper, it's all can change. So let's see the grab, how it's working. I already tried, so have oil in the, in the hose. So here we got one connection, quick release by servo. It is released. Yeah, remaining some oil because after I disassemble the hose here, quick, quick connection, we're coming out a little oil when you disassemble. Check this one. Let's for lock the bucket. So this one, the grab, this seat was separate. So three screw, one, two, three. Only assemble this one, the, this seat you can assemble. So original was separate. Now we will put in and lock it. Yeah, locked. So. Here got the warning light, this position, this have a cover, rubber one, take it out, you can plug it in. So warning light is on. So each side, this one and this one is one pair, this one and this one is one pair. So let's connect them. First, yeah, stop the pump, open all the valve, and the two channel for the spare one, the, open the valve, release the pressure, so no oil split out. Okay, lock. Yeah, locked. Okay, cleaning a little bit from quick connection, a little oil. We will start. Start pump. So for spinning, now this is for opening, left side opening. How much power? Yeah, pretty strong. And the spinning. So it's 270 degree from this side. Turning until here, yeah, to start 270 degree, 90 degree left. Open it. Let me try to grab these two. It is done. Okay, spinning it. That's how this one working. So also, if you want to change, only the servo open it. So you change this bucket and the small bucket and the ripper. So I will not show again. We will leave it, then we come to see the details. So let's open the back cover. You will see the battery chamber. So we got light here and also light on there. It's always on after power on. Tilting like this, you can take out. Here have the hook on top. That's I put battery, the wires for real light, and here I will move a little. From this angle, you will see the motor and the pump. It is inside there. So pressure release valve on the top. You can also see I open the cover, the pressure valve. 
So the distribution valve is there inside. Uh, so top cover I will not open, so you will know the valve it is there. Here are all the uh, wires junctions here. I will put back. Here we open the, the door, you will see the power switch and uh, there is a uh, safety, the fuse, wires connections. And uh, let's open the cabin. Inside you will see the screen. So it is showing the battery voltage, 11.7 volt. And let's see the pressure for the pump. Now it's showing around 2 bar, 2 bar. 2.5 bar, yeah, it should be a little bit normal. So, always the pressure got from the this screen not so accurate. Actually, the real pressure is a little higher than this two bar. Okay, so side we got lights and this plate, yeah, it is metal one, mud guard plastic, mud guard plastic, others are metal, window glass, it is plastic. So we have the handrail, it's also metal one. Okay, so only the mud guard, it is plastic. Let's see the forward. So got all these lights always on and the oil hose coming down from here for the big arm, middle arm, and the front arm, and this one, the tilting bucket. So got two spare channels here for controlling the grab. Also in the middle, because these wires coming in the middle, that's for the servo to open, quick release this bucket and grab. Here on top, we forgot to see. So we got this uh, well block here. So no, it's distribution block only to separate the oil line one to two. So here it is the spinning motor. So three wires also brushless. Downside we got the in the middle downside that's the slipper ring so the upper part can always turn it up turn it around. Yeah, this one quite heavy. Here we got these two cylinder for the do the blade. So each one two holes totally together four. And all the oil holes going down on the chassis coming to the rear side of the well block. So right side here, inside on the there, it is the oil tank. And uh, here we also got the lights, ladder. So the standing legs at the rear side. And the oil two cylinder, it is inside this frame. So oil hose go under the chassis and from middle coming up to this distribution valve. Okay, so this one now have light, but no controlling, always on. Have sound system, and uh, having these two buckets, ripper and grab. And if you like, we have space. As we see inside, it's quite, still have space for adding smoking system. If you like, we can add for you. So that's all for this weird excavator from MT946. Uh, we will see each other again with the other models, all the details. Thank you.